Hey guys, Songo here with the next episode. Uh, or this episode, I guess. Depending on your, uh, perspective. So I don't entirely talk about what's new. I've also equipped, uh, Frenzy. Which increases, which uses my wand to attack. And then give me frenzy charges and frenzy charges give a multiplicative increase in damage so yeah that's useful for bosses extreme overkill for anything else so and you'd just be better served by what's this tormented charlotte Oh, right, from yet another one of the... Oh, look. Oh, boy, uh... Okay, yeah. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm dying. <laughs> uh... Ooh, a gem. Or jewel, rather. I'm resetting this instance. Fuck that. That guy's dangerous. Mostly because of the raw amount of damage he can put out. Uh, and to have him buffed by a ghost... Which was released in a in the last expansion. Uh some or league rather? Yes, league. Uh where they possess things and make them stronger. Uh is just asking to be one shot, like I nearly was. Of course it didn't help that I how to say? Sure. Um. Oh, what was I just saying? Ah, oh, yes, this guy. <clears throat> uh, I actually appreciate this guy more than most bosses of the uh game because it actually challenging without being just one shot best. And in fact I like quite a bit of what they did with Act 4. Because Yeah, I think they are incorporating new designs into the their policy that is more than hey let's have this guy one shot you. And I can really appreciate it. So, also, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, well, there, <clears throat> there is also the passive tree change that results from <laughs> me being several levels higher than uh, level three. Or, <laughs> of course, uh, I meant from episode 3. Uh, so yeah. Not to mention the quests that give you a bunch more skill points. And, but I'll go over that as soon as I level up, which should be very soon, as the XP bar here shows. Uh, <clears throat> but you know how I said Wither was pretty damn useless? Well, it still kind of is, yes, but... You have every reason to be afraid. But, um, yeah. It's still useless except for the largest of enemies who simply refuse to die. Like, ah, uh, no. Accidentally hit that chat box, which you should not be able to click when you. I, I mean, if you press enter and then open it, then yeah, okay, now you can click in it, but it should not be able to. Okay, yeah, anyway. Oh, let's free her. And another mini boss. Which, if any of you play Aid, um, Diablo 3 recently, yet, 
as in within the last year or so, uh, you'll see that he does a little bit of Blessed Hammer uh, action. Not a big threat for this build, but and he's kind of one-shotty if you don't have a ton of life, but meh. Well, yeah. Okay, well, don't have anything to talk about with that. Uh, so, but I have linked with her with faster casting, which allows me to get more casts of this damage amplification in. Uh, come on, give me charges, thanks. <clears throat> Which means it's actually giving me some more value. By the way, this is Wither. And it slows things. And, yeah. Amplifies chaos damage taken by 20, er, by 7% for each time the buff is applied, or debuff is applied. So, and <clears throat> by the way, I was slightly mistaken last, or when I first explained this, there, there are two, god, I'm trying to explain things, come on. Okay, well, fine, be like that. Got absolutely no accuracy, so even though my, uh, Projectiles are hitting him. The he has an evasion stat, which makes it so they don't hit him because it, it's an attack roll. Which, eh, whatever. <clears throat> so, yeah, I okay. Let's explain Wither first. Wither has two durations. One is this, the duration of the circle thing, which over some amount of time while they are in that circle, they get the, this debuff applied to them. And then the secondary duration is actually the duration of the debuff. So, I mean, it could, tr they could have tried and made that a little bit clearer. Like, what the fuck does base duration and secondary duration mean? I don't know. It says... <laughs> yeah, anyway. But, basically, it, I think I can basically double my overall damage on someone by just spamming this. So... Yeah, it's decent now that I've actually got some good chaos damage going on. And yeah, I just bypassed a rare mob. Because why not? Uh. <clears throat> oh. So. And I <laughs> failed to explain the change in the passive tree. Well. So what happened is I went down here for some life, and I equipped the jewel socket, which is actually a drop you find from loot. So, yay, 10% chaos damage. That's actually very incredibly bad, but it's just more damage, yay. And then came up in here for more chaos damage. And then cast speed, damage over time, and uh, chaos damage. And this is just yet more life. At this point, I really don't need any more chaos damage because of the diminishing returns of. Uh, non-multiplicative bonuses because 
when you're, you've got a 0% increase, adding plus 20% is a 20% increase to your uh, overall damage. But when you've got 20% and already, adding yet another 20% is only increasing your damage by uh, to 40%. It's not increasing your overall damage before that by 20%. So, <clears throat> so uh, it's like this. Normally with 0% uh, da increased damage, you have 100 damage, just for example. Then, times 20, or with the plus 20 multiplicative, or additive modifier, you get 20, 120. But, uh, <clears throat> so, point 0.2 of this would be 24%. And, er, 24 bonus damage. But all of that, an extra 120, or plus 20% 20 damage increase, when it's not a multiplicative more, is only adding 20. So that's less than an actual 20% increase. Uh, hope I made that as clear as possible. The uh, scaling rules for Path of Exile are extremely obtuse, but uh, if you know them, well, good for you. Uh, doesn't make them any better. Just means you aren't completely lost and confused when someone's trying to explain it. And. I actually have no idea how long I was talking. Uh, I think I've got at least five minutes left. Don't die. Because, yeah, I want to die, don't worry. So, this is the uh, Hall of Nightmare, or the Rapture device, which will burrow through this crystal or whatever and take me into the belly of the beast. Once I obtain some eyes from dreams. Yeah, <laughs> makes about as much sense as any other Path of Ex er, action RPG story. Except Diablo's story kind of makes even more sense because, well, they don't try and uh, do anything fancy. But that doesn't make it better, it just means it makes more sense. Well, to some people that's much better. Okay, anyway. So, we're in Calm Stream. Um, Karui, basically, uh, Berserker guy. And his stream is all about fire and dogs. Two-headed dogs for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think it's actually been explained, but frankly, who cares? It's just more things to kill. So what these dogs do is burrow underground and leave a flame trail like this. Oh, look, and <clears throat> yeah, occasionally they drop fire elementals on me. Yay. So, just moving on. Actually, I think that was one of the many bosses that you should generally skip because it just throws up out far too many things. But I'm gonna face it for you guys. Never give up. Uh, okay, I give up. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, just skip him. No point doing that. Uh, you know how I was saying that they generally moved on from the one-shot mechanics? Uh, well, how about 50 shots? 
in half a second. As we all must to the dust. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, this should be the end of the video. So, hope you guys found this informative and uh, continue to have fun. Bye.